present with the Lord God forever. Are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah. yeah, if you're happy, what do you do? Say after me, blessed be the Lord God forever and ever. Blessed be the Lord God forever. Because today, this is quite a great season. And in the presence of God, what happens? The fullness of God. Is that not so? So repeat after me again. Blessed be the Lord God forever and ever. Blessed be the Lord God realize that the Lord is present here strong? Because in the scripture it says in the hymns, uh, in the hymns, what happened? God manifest. Alright, God bless you. Okay. I want to speak to you on the team, the love of Christ, the reason for the season. There are two significant occurrences in this month of December and also in this season. Firstly, Christ was born in Bethlehem of Judea during the days of King Herod. Date as stipulated by the Lateran Council and the Ecclesiastical Council. Also, in the secular world, this is the period where we as individuals evaluate our trajectory, that is to say, our roadmap, to know if certain decisions we've taken in the past months of the year could lead us to victory or success in the next season, which is the new year. This is a period of sober reflection, a period where certain mistakes or error we've made are corrected. Also, it's a period where certain success you made are improved on, not allowing them to be stagnant. However, we are celebrating a very significant character, a significant savior. Therefore, if you go to John chapter 3 verse 16, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's exactly what we are celebrating this season. We are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. However, it does not stop there. Because in Colossians chapter 1, verse 27, the Bible says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. What is glory? Glory is what? Life. Sometimes people say radiance. Great. So the hope of glory is what? Glory is what? Life. Because Christ came to this world to give us life. However, it is very important that we receive Christ. The question that comes to mind is, how do we receive Christ? Because I'm a witness, while Christ is in me, my Father in heaven is in me. Therefore, every one of us can be part of the kingdom. So the question I've mentioned before, how do we receive Christ? Very simple. This will be achieved if you follow what the Bible says in Romans chapter 9, chapter 10, verse 9, and I quote, If you confess the Lord Jesus and you believe in your heart that he died for you and was risen by God, you are saved. It's quite simple. Therefore, at this point, so that you enjoy the joy I enjoy, so that you enjoy the glory I enjoy, I've told you, this is what? life of God. Therefore, if you want to enjoy the glory that I enjoy, there's need, this imperative for me to make an altar call. Therefore, if you want to receive Christ and be saved, could you please indicate by raising up your hand? This is very important. I pray for you because if you have Christ, it's the biggest gift God gave to man 
kind. Christ is not the president. Okay, Christ is God. So if you want to receive Christ and be saved, could you please indicate by raising up your hand? God bless you. God bless you. Could you stand on your feet? This is serial business. The business of God is not a child's play. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Uh, prayer of salvation, you repeat this after me. Righteous Father, I thank you for giving me the privilege of having the Holy Spirit in me. Holy Spirit, I thank you for revealing Jesus Christ to me. But I thank you because you saved my soul. Now I am born again. Now I'm a child of God. Amen. If you have said this prayer, now you are born again. Now you are a child of God. But there should be a follow-up. As a follow-up, you have to study the word of God regularly. Listen to the word of God regularly. Then over a period, what happens? A metamorphosis grow in your life. Then you begin to enjoy what? The joy of God. You begin to enjoy and win every day. God bless you. May be seated. Okay. Let me read you the script. Let me read you a scripture. Let me read the scripture. Finally, I read you this. John chapter 3, verse 17. If you have the Bible, open it. I read, For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. Therefore, the reason for this season is what? Jesus Christ. It is not out of place to say that Christmas is Christ in you and you in Christ. God bless you and thank you. Thank you, sir. Please put your hands to